Hello, my name is Tobias and I'm the co-founder of Supernotes and today I'm going to show you how to filter, sort and search your notes. It's quite a tongue twister. So here you have your home view. Um, this is great. It shows you all of your cards, right? You have everything in a, in a really nice flattened structure. So now I might want to find something. So one of the first things you can do is, is to go and use the search bar. You can open search by two ways, by clicking it or actually using a key binding called uh, Control F or Command F. And then let's see, I, I have a card here called Bookshelf. I wonder where that is. You know, I could always just click that. That's just, just for demonstration purposes. Let's find Bookshelf. There you go. Great. And you can also search, um, you know, if the body content of the card. So if I cancel that and, you know, here you say, try baking the cranberry and cinnamon cake. I'll type in cranberry. Uh, and you see, actually, it also comes up with a parent card. There's two cards that cranberry mentioned. So really, really, really helpful. Great search ability. It's a bit simple, but it's super useful. So now if we go into we're going into filtering, so here you see there's two tabs here. We've only really talked about um, the sort of sidebar and the car tree in this tab, um, but you can also go to filters as well. And you'll notice whenever you apply a filter with tags, if I look for anything that's that tagged as MatNav, um, you'll see that actually will automatically throw you into that tab. So really, really helpful when you want to try and figure out what you're doing. This filter will be pink when something's applied, but the pink filter um, is only there um, you know, when you have something on. So really, really helpful to indicate that that's there. And then you have various different filters that you can add. So you can have, you can only show those cards that are mine. And you can show cards that you've liked, that you've kept. And it's actually it's quite a unique way. You have a switch here, and the switch actually is inclusive or exclusive. So I can actually show everything that's mine and everything that's MATLAB, or everything that isn't mine, everything's MATLAB. Obviously, everything is uh, is actually everything I've written. I haven't really shared much content, so you can see that. But actually, what happens if I if I undo this? Oh, I've actually have I have a few cards that I haven't written personally. So that's really cool. And we'll talk about sharing in another video, and I'll pop that down below. And uh, yeah, so filters are really really powerful. And the fact that it's instant is so super helpful. So I can see anything that's, that isn't mine and is liked. And you can disable filters by clicking the name. And if you ever want to remove a filter, like a custom filter you've had, you can't remove the, the standard ones at the top. You can actually do that by hovering over the icon and pressing X. And you can add filters as well for colors. So you can do by authors, by tags, and by colors. So I want to see maybe all of the orange cards I have. There's only one orange card. Uh, let's see, there's another one if I disable that. Is there a purple card? There is no purple card. Um, how about a green card? There you go, I've got a green card. So really nice. Filtering is super quick, super effective. And you know, being able to do that is, is so powerful. Being able to see you know, relevant things from different places together in one unified place is something that you don't really have in, in that many, many note-taking apps. So we're really thrilled to be able to bring that to you. And then the final thing I really want to show you is the sort of the, the, the way you can change your view. So at the moment you see this, you can sort cards. We bring up this, this, this menu here um, for the noteboard. So you can see I can sort by alphabetical order. If I change the order here, you can reverse the order by doing this, by date created or last edited. So there's ascending and descending and you can change that there. Really, really quick again. You know, there's no load time, there's no wait times. Um, you can then also change your views and your print and exporting. I will cover that in another video. Um, so really, really easy and quick. So that's kind of a brief overview of Supernotes and the ways you can sort of modify uh, how you're, you know, the position of your cards and what cards you're looking at. I hope that's been helpful and you know, give us a like if that's been good and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And yeah, subscribe for more updates. Thank you so much.